the language of the book is so beautiful you almost feel like an elderly person or someone from sindh is narrating you the stories that only the locals of sindh would know for me sitting here in india and never have visited sindh i almost felt like i know sindh a little better i could imagine and i could visualize all the places that he was mentioning all the stories that he was saying with the little characters in them this one looked like this that character looks like this. feels like ages since i last did a book video we are back this month and hand on heart this is a fantastic book welcome back to the sindhi film festival we love doing this book videos if you have no idea what i'm talking about we have linked them up here and also in the description box below we have made a beautiful playlist of all the book videos we did last year in 2019 and also the announcement videos of the same we have linked the playlist in the description box below today we are going to talk about the book folk tales of sindh and gujarat by c a kingcad First let's talk about a quick few facts about the book. The title of this book is Folk Tales of Sindh and Gujarat. It is written by C A Kingcad. This book was first published in Karachi in 1925, almost a 100 years ago. The book that I hold in my hand is a reprint by the Asian Educational Services and it was reprinted in New Delhi in the year 2000. This copy is priced at Indian rupees 335. Okay now let's dive into the book. I chose this book because I love stories. I love hearing about the folk tales. Um even when I meet people, I meet their grandparents or the elders of the family, I love listening to the stories that they have about Sindh, how they came to India or wherever they traveled. I just love listening to stories. Um this is Folk Tales of Sindh and Gujarat and I was so fascinated by the title. Before ordering the book when I further looked at it, it had this beautiful hard bound but very like old worldy cover um the embossing is in gold color and i was like oh my god this is a beautiful copy i'm just very happy it's still available considering that it was first published about 100 years ago this book is written by c a kingcad um aka charles augustus kingcad according to wikipedia charles augustus kingcad was a high court judge in colonial india and also a prolific writer I haven't read any of his other works but this book I have absolutely enjoyed reading. To begin with there's an author's preface where he says that these articles that are collected in this book were actually published in the Daily Gazette or the Times of India and they have reprinted all the articles together. In this preface I'm glad that he said and I quote My hope is that they will lead others more competent than I am and with greater opportunities than I have had to delve into the vast treasures of folklore possessed by the province of Sindh. The foreword is beautiful and the contents page. Oh my god, I just loved looking at the titles of everything. It's not clear whether Jhulelal and Lal Shahbaz are the same people or not. Um but I like that there are individual articles on well i shouldn't call them articles should i they are beautiful folk stories on lal shahbaz odero lal jinda peer abdul latif oh god hyderabad the makli hill larkana i have read the entire book a little more than one time and i have absolutely loved it i have loved it so much that i missed marking what all i want to quote here and what i want to talk about in the video now before i quote something from the book i want to tell you guys how i felt while reading the book The language of the book is so beautiful you almost feel like an elderly person or someone from Sindh is narrating you the stories that only the locals of Sindh would know for me sitting here in India and never have visited Sindh I almost felt like I know Sindh a little better I could imagine and I could visualize all the places that he was mentioning all the stories that he was saying with the little characters in them this one looked like this that character looked like this it beautifully painted a picture in my head and i could visualize all the characters all the stories i think what i'm trying to say is i could hear all the stories the language is so conversational that you feel like someone is talking to you instead of you know you're reading the stories it's beautiful i'm going to read out about a little bit from odero lal section odero lal was born on cheti chand the first day of the sindhi month cheti and also the first day of what is known as the chaitra the year the year that begins with the month of cheti or chaitra instead of the month of kartik in odero lal's honor the government offices throughout sindh are closed so in common gratitude every government officer ought to inquire who odero lal was back then 
the offices in Sindhu were closed because of Cheti Chand. And he was one of the government officers so he inquired about Udero Lal and wrote what he did. I just thoroughly enjoyed reading these stories. It really felt so beautiful, I can't even put it in words. Believe me, I'm trying to explain how it felt but this is one of a kind, this book, truly. Most of the things, most of the stories that this book says are the ones that we sort of know, the information that we know and I can see how through generations and how over decades this information has passed on to us in different forms of media. I'm going to read out a little bit about Hyderabad uh, from this um, story on Hyderabad. The spelling was different back then and I found his English to be a little different from our English today and that just made me realize, oh my god, times are changing. Hyderabad was once known as Neran Court and the king of it was Raja Neran. It goes on further to describe the Raja's daughter and there are beautiful stories. And I like how all the Hindu Muslim characters together exist in Sindh in the stories and also in reality of course. For example, this uh, story on two love tragedies, Kutteji Kabara and Mausam Shah. So I actually want to go and see this tomb of the dog in Sakhar if I get a chance to visit Sakhar. But I was making these mental notes about which all places I want to visit in Sindh if I get a chance to visit it. I really want to visit all these places, Saad Belo and Larkana and and so on and so forth. I'm yet to read the Gujarati folk stories but the section on roundabout Na Nasik talks about the chief temple in Nasik is known as Kapileshwar. I'm like oh my god this is here you know like in Maharashtra. It felt really nice to read his version of the places that we visit today. I'm sure CA Kinkad would have never imagined that a hundred years later a Sindhi girl sitting in Bombay would be making a video about his book but that's how life is. Now if you're wondering if you should buy this book, please allow me to help you. If you know anybody, friends, family, relatives who love stories, who love folk stories, who are interested in history, in knowing their culture but not in a very heavy way, this is the one for you or for them. Um, even for you, I think the fact that it's still available is a huge deal. I was a little scared that I might get an email that the book is no longer available, sorry we can't deliver. It almost feels like a heritage book to me, written by a non-Sindhi person about Sindh. It would be a fantastic addition to your collection on Sindhi books. Once again, I would like to remind you that these videos are not book review videos. I do not review books. I come here and discuss with you about the books that I really like. I take a lot of time to hunt for good books, the ones that I want to talk about on this channel. and. I feel like bringing along books that are lesser known. This is one of those books. It's a beautiful book. Please buy it if you already haven't. And also, if there are any other books that you would like me to read, please do let me know in the comments below. If you have read this book or any other works by C.A. Kinkat, please do let me know in the comments below. I would love to discuss these books with you, especially this one. Come say hi to us on Instagram, Sindhi Film Festival. We are a lot more active there. One of my new year goals is to read at least 12 books related to Sindhi culture, Sindhi heritage and hopefully make one video every month on this channel talking about that book. Please tell me I'll still read books and don't make me feel like I'm one of those dinosaur person. <laughs> now I need to talk to you about something. On an honest note, these videos, the videos that I make about books are my most underperforming videos. I want to ask you, do you watch these videos? Do you like watching these videos? Please let us know in the comments below because if you don't like watching these videos, I think I should stop them. The reason why I make these videos is A, I absolutely enjoy reading books and finding more about my history and my culture through English language books and B, I feel like I have a deadline, I have a commitment to you, so I read one book a month, I make time for it somehow and before the month ends I have to make my notes, arrange my thoughts, shoot a video and edit it and upload it. So it takes a lot of effort, believe me, please let me know in the comments below if you enjoy watching these videos or not and do have a look at the playlist that we've made of these videos, leave us a comment, it truly gives us a lot of joy hearing from you because we put in a lot of effort into each of our videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, leave us a comment below, subscribe to the channel Sindhi Fun Festival, ring the notification bell and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.